It is time. I can avoid this no longer. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. And today we're gonna be doing something that I told you I was going to do. Recently, I reacted to the Try Channel's Irish People Try America and the World's Strongest Alcohol. And I said if it got to 5,000 likes, I will do it. And guess what? What? You bitches are capable of, of giving my videos fucking 5,000 likes. What's your excuse every single time? My neighbors are gonna think that there's domestic abuse going on in this apartment. So many of you guys asked in the comments for me to do this. So today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try America's strongest alcohol that isn't illegal. Cause I, tr there's some alcohol in that video that is illegal in most states. And apparently that video was filmed in Ireland. And I didn't know that when I made this promise. So I'll show you what I was able to acquire. Shut up. Before I do, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe now, just cause I fucking am doing this. Just cause I bought all this shit. Because I was able to get most of it, but the fucking 190 proof, whatever, the clear spring grain alcohol is not sold anywhere because it is illegal in the state of California. <laughs> I even asked you guys on Twitter for help and someone told me to drive to Colorado. <laughs> no, I tried to get it delivered, I did. You guys posted me links on where I can order it and it doesn't, it doesn't deliver to California because it's illegal here. <laughs> so the one thing I don't have <laughs> is the clear spring super fucking grain alcohol shit. Which is good because maybe that means I won't die in this video. But I did get something else <laughs> in its place. Something that's not as strong, but still strong. Something that everybody in fucking college uses to make their jungle juice. I got a whole handle of Everclear. It's not 190 proof, but it's 120 proof. And I'm doing a bunch of shots. So in order for me not to die, <laughs> let's all just give me a pass, okay? And A for effort. These are all gonna put fucking hair on your chest. Speaking of hair on your chest and anywhere else on your body, can I see your balls? Because I have something that's gonna help. Let's talk about your balls. They're gonna thank you. And so will anybody who sees them. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Let me see your balls. Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulas for dealing with the top three areas on your body that are stinky, the odor zone. Your body, your butt, and your balls. Let me see your balls. Honestly, let me see any of them. <laughs> and they hooked me up with all this stuff. Look at this little package to deal with my balls. Because when people see my stuff, I need to make a good impression because I don't know if they're gonna come back. <laughs> the first product I wanna highlight is the Lawn Mower 4.0 Body Trimmer. Look at this. Cause I don't like to be completely hairless, but some parts of my body I like to keep like, you know, neat and trimmed. You know what I'm talking about. This thing is waterproof and it won't nick your body. Cause you know, sometimes when you're shaving yourself with this stuff, it nicks you and you bleed. And I don't know if you've ever done that to your balls, but it's stop, stop. It's not fun. <laughs> Trust me. This thing has a super smart cordless charging system and it's even got like a little light. Look at this, look at this. See this little light? That's for when you're like in those positions where you can't really see what you're doing because it's where the sun don't shine. You gotta get all those nooks and crannies. <laughs> and so you don't waste power after charging it when you put this in your bag to travel with it. If you press the button three times, it's on travel lock. Cause you gotta have nice balls when you travel. <laughs> also in this package, we have two other things that I didn't know I needed until I had them. And now I can't live without them. Let me tell you. The crop preserver and the crop reviver. Ball deodorant and ball toner. Two things that I previously did not know I needed. And to everybody who's been in that area before this moment, I apologize. <laughs> Cause if you expect anybody to deal with those areas, you need to make sure it's fine, fresh, and cute. And not only do they got your nether regions, they got you covered from head to toe. You could even use this. This, my beautiful babies, is the weed whacker. It's for your nose and your ears and wherever the hell you want to put it. I'm not telling you how to do your business. Just be safe. This is great. It's wireless and skin safe, so you don't cut up any of your sensitive areas. For a limited time, you get all this, plus two free gifts. Look at these gifts. These anti-itch boxer briefs. They actually gave me a few of these, and I wear them to the gym, and they are amazing. <laughs> and they gave me this travel bag, so I can keep myself trimmed up and hygienic anywhere I go at any time, which you all know has been a problem for me in the past, but now I have no excuse. <laughs> go to manscaped.com right now for 20% off plus international shipping. And two free gifts when you use my promo code. This is my promo code. Use my promo code, please. Manscaped, always the right tool for the job to clean up your tool for the job. Back to the video. <laughs> wow, what a setup. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into like, <laughs> 
feel like I'm going into battle. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'd rather drink this. I'd rather drink the jungle juice that has been fermenting for eight months. I don't like shots. I don't like them. I don't like them. You know what's not going to help me? Spinning in circles. What do we have in this magical bag of death? Oh, I got a little bottle. <laughs> I'm not buying a full bottle of this because I don't want it. I don't want it in my house. I don't, I don't need it. There's no instance when I'm ever gonna wanna use this again. It's 100 proof Smirnoff. I don't need any more than this, okay? And I'm drinking it out of plastic like they did in the video. And I said, anybody that drinks this stuff out of plastic is depressed. So, I'm just gonna leave that back there. Oh, it smells. <laughs> It smells like I just got out of prison. <laughs> this smells like, this smells like 2 a.m. in a bathroom stall. It's the middle of the day. It's the middle of the day. I'm not gonna have time. I'm not gonna be able to do anything the rest of the day. We're just gonna fucking shut up and do it. This is how you take shots. Ready? One, two, three. <clears throat> it went in my nose! <sighs> That was only the first one. That was only the first one and it went up my nose. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now I know why this saying is these are gonna put hair on your chest. You guys ever hear that saying about drinking hard alcohol? It's really gonna put hair on your chest. It's like some toxic masculinity bullshit. Here, destroy yourself. It'll put hair on your chest. Do this thing that's bad for you. It'll put hair on your chest. I've been drinking strong shit my entire life. Not much hair on my chest. Not much hair anywhere. Everyone loves to comment on my non-hairy armpits. I get it. So let's just keep going. I got the Knob Creek. I got the Knob Creek that they all liked in the video. So I'm hoping I like it too. <laughs> and you know it's not good? Mixing the liquors like this. Do not do this, <laughs> please. I'm normally not a whiskey shots person, okay? I feel like people who do whiskey shots, like chase them with cigarettes, which I don't smoke anymore. But we're gonna do this and just hope for the fucking best. What does it smell like? Okay, it doesn't smell that strong, which is good. I mean, it smells better than fucking high proof vodka, which just smells like death. But here we go, Knob Creek bourbon, cheers. How does that girl do that? <coughs> she liked, the, it's only gonna get worse. It wasn't like, the taste was fine. The taste was fine. <sighs> but it burns. Burns all the way down. <laughs> I'm crying. It's giving me BO. I'm, st I'm stinking. Sierra O'Darty did this. <laughs> I, I should be fine. I can do this. I can sit with her. I feel like I'm being hazed. And I'm hazing myself. <laughs> They know what I'm doing. They found out that I'm drinking the illegal alcohol. I love when things just work out. Just like a random fucking amber alert is, oh my God, it's a, oh, it's a silver alert. Somebody lost their grandparents. Round the troops. You know, the longer this video goes on, the more fun I'm starting to have. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm Irish, so this is my birthright. <coughs> Next, I got absinthe. <laughs> I got a little absinthe. Absinthe. I got a little absinthe. I got a hundred and 10 proof because <laughs> the other one is illegal. And we're not promoting that. <laughs> this is what you get here. <laughs> and it's not even supposed to be in this video. I'm just trying to make up for not having everything I was supposed to have. Because there's a level of authenticity in my videos that everybody makes fun of me for. The amount of people that tell me that when I make my cocktails, I should just fill these handles up with water and lie. And I'm like, no. And then I just end up wasting hundreds of dollars of alcohol. What does it smell like? Oh, it smells, it smells like licorice. It just smells like licorice. Last time I drank absinthe, I threw up on Mulholland Boulevard at three in the morning. So this is gonna put hair on my chest. We're gonna taste it. I have another video to film after this. And then a podcast. Oh, look, it's my manager. Hi, Sam. Hi. Is now a good time. Yeah, I'm, uh, you're on my YouTube channel. I'm filming our, the sponsor ad you yelled at me to film. Oh, thank God, because that's what I'm calling about. <laughs> yep, I'm doing shots that put hair on your chest, which means they're all shots that are over 100 proof. We're three shots in. Oh my God, do you need help? <laughs> uh, more help than you can get. <laughs> that's my sugar daddy, <laughs> basically. Absinthe, cheers.
I don't like licorice. <laughs> it wasn't that it was strong. The licorice flavor is just insane. Now I know why it made me throw up. Now I know. It's not that these things are too strong for me. You guys doubt me. Oh, Michael, we've seen you get so drunk in your videos before. That's because I film like five a day. Oh, but YouTube is your only job. Isn't YouTube your only job? Yes, but when I do things like TV shows and have no phone or communication for up to two months plus, what do you think I have to do? You guys ever have to put out two videos a week, but also stockpile videos so that when you go away for three months at a time with no phone, or a computer you could post while you're away so your algorithm doesn't get fucked. Don't even get me started. Oh yeah, but wait, I'm supposed to talk. <laughs> I'm supposed to talk about the alcohol. I'm supposed to do the whole purpose of this video. So it was good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That was shit. I don't like licorice. If you like the flavor of black licorice, you're gonna love that shit. You could probably toss that shit back. It really didn't burn. <laughs> which is a scary thing. I just hated that flavor because I hate black licorice. Licorice to me is the worst candy. I'd rather suck on a dried up white dog turd <laughs> than fucking black licorice. I'd rather eat the vomit Harry Potter jelly bean. Y'all know what I'm talking about? How many have I done? I've done three. I've done three shots. One was 100 proof. One was 110 proof, the absinthe. And one was 120 proof, the Knob Creek. What's next? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh, what's next? Remember when I didn't drink? <laughs> you know, I learned a lot from that. These are the reasons why. <laughs> these, these are the things that I've learned. And since I'm doing this today, shh. Since I'm doing this video today, that means I won't be drinking for the next two weeks because now I've put a drinking limit on myself. I only am allowed to drink once a week. But since I'm doing all this, I'm gonna give myself some extra time because I'm liking this a little too much. <laughs> I'm falling. What's next? Where'd the rest of the liquor go? Oh, <gasps> look at you. Everclear in a plastic handle. You know what? Why is it that the hardest shit comes in plastic? It comes in plastic. Why in plastic? Plastic is trash. I used to be able to drink so much of you. Remember how sad we were? We were so sad. I used to tell people, Everclear, to clear your mind of all your problems. I always talk about all the problems I used to have. And if you guys are watching X on the Beach, you guys, you guys might know that apparently I'm the problem. Twitter hates me. You guys, you guys see that they hate me? Twitter thinks I'm toxic because I am. But you know what? You go through my life without picking up some toxic traits as a defense mechanism. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. You're watching an edited episode of <laughs> my love life, which is why I drink. See, this is why I can't do these kind of shots because we start opening up. <laughs> so are we gonna do this or are we just gonna fucking talk about it? Are we just gonna fucking, are we just gonna like pussyfoot around the subject? <laughs> are we just gonna like continue to talk about nothing to stall from having to take this shot? No, we're not. We're gonna fucking do it. Cause you know what? We ain't no bitch. I like to sing about the moon and the June and the spring. I love to sing about a sky, a blue or T42. You guys wanna see a magic trick? Watch this, ready? Wanna see a fucking magic trick? Watch this shit, ready? Wanna see a fucking David Blaine? Eat shit. Easy. It's easy. <laughs> What's next? You think I'm scared? What are you looking at? Think I can't handle Sierra Otari? <laughs> okay, so if I had to rate these <laughs> from best to worst, the Smirnoff, this little bitch, this little shitty vodka that's only 100 proof, that's the worst. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because it went up my nose, <laughs> but because I just, I fucking hate vodka and it does nothing. Next, absent. <laughs> I would say, if I didn't, I'm biased. I'm bisexual biased. I'm bye bye. I'm I'm a Backstreet Boy. Bye bye bye. Or is that in sync? <laughs> you know what? No, I changed my mind. I changed my mind because I'm too biased. I'm too bi. I don't like the flavor, but I didn't really taste any of the alcohol. This actually went down really really easy, which is terrifying. Um, I'm gonna say Everclear. It just burns. <laughs> Like the witch in the Wizard of Oz when you put water on it. And then Knob Creek. And then I guess Absence the I mean, none of them were good. <laughs> none of them were good. 
Um, I, this, this wasn't fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun now. It wasn't fun during. It's like when you have the baby, you know, like giving birth wasn't fun. But now that I have the baby and the baby being drunk, I'm fine. And I love how this was literally in second to last place and now it's first. Only, I hate the flavor, I hate it. I fucking, I hate it. I think the flavor is awful, <laughs> but it burned the least. And I think the real absinthe, the real one that's like, what is, what is it, like 160 or something like that? I don't know, I'm not a fucking crematologist. <laughs> is crematologist a real thing? Let's Google crematologist. Crematologist. Just Google corrects to Craigslist. <laughs> well, everybody, what did we learn today? Don't do this. Don't do this. And again, for legal reasons, don't do this. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. And if you want more content, be sure to check out Messy Pod with me and Mac Does It. We go live every Wednesday. And our Patreon, where we are reacting to episodes of X on the Beach that I'm on. And I have my cameo in the description below. Why am I better at this when I'm drunk? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. So it's always on Mike MGTV, and you are fucking welcome. <laughs>